Hey what's up you guys, it's me Mario and I've got a little bit of commentary that involves Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto 5. So Grand Theft Auto 5 came out around September if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should have been around September I believe. Or October, something like that. Point is, you know, the game's been great for everybody, this and that. And, you know, in the meantime while the game came out, so did a bunch of money glitches. Money glitches that very easy to learn and you know stuff of that sort right and supposedly there's been you know they've been patched supposedly with the 1.04 and the 1.05 and 1.06 update but those <laughs> updates haven't done shit the patches still perfectly work it's just you know very small little details have changed stuff you need to do before you do the actual glitch you know little preparations here and there but my point is you know, us as the customer, the gamers, whatever way you want to see it, we've, you know, done the glitch here and there. If you want to do the glitch, do the glitch. What the fuck's going to happen? It's not real money. It's fake money. It's it's video game money. I mean, what's fucking wrong with doing the glitch, right? I mean, that's one of my point of views. That's one of my opinions. Number two, if you don't like the glitch, just fucking stay away from it. There's people that'll, you know probably start bitching about oh you're using the glitch that's blah 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 this and that and I mean what what is that gonna do is it gonna fucking affect you in any sort of way no I mean I don't know if I'm going about this the right way my point is is that a lot of people make a big deal out of the glitches and I think Rockstar made a big deal out of the glitch more than anybody Rockstar um, there's this one YouTube video that I saw that this guy did the glitch and was teaching people how to do the glitch, stuff of this and that, you know, and he was saying how, you know, he would live stream because, you know, he's a YouTuber. He would live stream his gameplay sometimes, you know, through Twitch or some shit, whatever it is. Point is, he would have money, you know, he'd be, you know, just having fun with friends here and there, subscribers that were his, you know, subscribers or whatever, and he would be having fun, right? And it'd be just all in good fun here and there. And he would just have fun, right? He, Whenever he was probably doing the live stream, he didn't have like a lot of money or anything. But then he said that a few, a day later, the next day or something like that, he decided to, you know, do a tutorial for the glitch or some shit. Point is, he does the glitch. Point is, Rockstar notices, I guess. And he gets banned from Grand Theft Auto V online for about a month and a few days. I'm not sure exactly how many days, but point is, it's a month and a few days. Now, I mean, what's the point of that? I don't really get it. If you guys want to check out the video after you're done watching this, or if you just want to fucking skip my video now, um, whatever, but the link will be in the description. And my point is, what's the point of banning somebody from GTA Online, right? What's the point of that? The guy said that he understood his mistake. He, you know, he's not going to bitch about it, and he's going to man up about his mistake. And, you know, GTA or Rockstar probably lost money because of people doing the glitch. But how much more money do they need? I mean, seriously. Rockstar supposedly made all the money back that they wasted by making Grand Theft Auto V. They made all the money back in nothing but pre-orders. And that's crazy, because, I mean... I'm one person, I mean, I never ever have pre-ordered a game. I don't care what game it is, I just, I don't see the point in pre-ordering it, you know? I can get it the day I find it at Walmart or GameStop or whatever. I don't see much of a big deal in pre-ordering a game. And if Rockstar was able to gain all that money that they, you know, wasted or invested in making GTA the game it is, if they made all that money back in pre-orders, which is amazing, and, I mean, they invested millions, if not a couple, uh, no, yeah, just millions, I think. There's something on Google, I'll, th I'll, I'll find a page about it, and I'll let you guys check it out. It'll be in the description. But they invested millions of dollars into the game to make it what it is. I mean, that's, you, you guys just have to check out the webpage. It says something about movies, and it compares how much movies have been spent on, and, you know, the game, and it's a lot of money, actually, for a video game. Point is... If they made all that money back in nothing but pre-orders, and I still know there's thousands of people that will buy the game after it's too late to pre-order it, you know, and whenever you just find it at Walmart or whatever, 
you know, because I'm one of those people. And, you know, not to even mention the amount of people that buy two copies to maybe even three. Maybe not on that first time, but, you know, not everybody is careful with their discs. Not everybody is careful with their stuff. A point is, Rockstar, I believe, is making a big deal about it. And not only that, but, I mean, I've read forums where people, you know, there's that option to go to the Xbox Live store or some shit to buy Grand Theft Auto 5 money with real money, which, for one, is kind of stupid. Because it's going to do you no good. You're wasting real money on fake money. Two, there's been many people that spend who you know how much amounts of money buying fake money. And then there's people, some people that have reported that their character randomly gets deleted with all their stuff. After reach, reaching a certain level or just whatever, the next day, I mean... Just out of nowhere, their character gets deleted or doesn't appear back, you know, on their on their drive somehow. Some some shit happens, and their character gets deleted along with the money they actually spent on buying fake money. Stuff of that sort. What's the point of that, Rockstar? I do not get it. I'm sure you know you must make some money off of some people that waste real money on fake money, but... I mean, is there really a point of that? We're getting into... A certain you know time in our generation where you get uh, let's say certain things at a good price like let's say a free app in the App Store but then to get little upgrades in the game they make it impossible at the prices it costs to be able to do that so they give you the option to buy fake money with real money just so you can upgrade stuff in that game am I making any sense guys cuz I think I am but anyways Rockstar I think is making too much of a big deal out of it and yeah, GTA should be a fun game that's just, GTA, man, what the fuck, I mean, on the PSPs back in Grand Theft Auto, uh, Vice City Stories and PS2s and all that, there's always been glitches for money, just about in everyone, there's been glitches for money that, you know, Rockstar themselves implemented on the fucking game, What what's the fucking point of taking it out now, I mean, there's always going to be a way, and if there is a way and we enjoy it, and you know it's not doing anything to anybody, fuck it. Just leave the gamers alone. That's it. That's what I think. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think, and hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you didn't, whatever. Uh, like if you did, subscribe if you felt more, and see you in the next one.